August 8, 2016, we will be interviewing Jean Taco here at the West Hampton Beach High School on Lilac Road in West Hampton Beach. I'm Emma Galasso, and the purpose of this interview is to take a look at what life was like before the involvement of the West Hampton Beach community that we know today. Jean Taco has taken time out of her day to sit and speak with us, and for that, we thank her. Jean, welcome. Thank you very much for sitting down with us today. Um, so, what is your full name? My, my full name, Jean Helen Taco. And what day were you born exactly? 19, 1915. So, how old does that make you to the date? To the date, I'll be 101 at the end of this month. So, how long have you lived in West Hampton? Oh, I was born and raised here, but then I got married. When I got married, my husband couldn't get it. He was from New Jersey, and he worked in Riverhead. They had that big King Collins store, mm -hmm. and now that's it's a big parking lot now. And then he lost his job, and he went back to Bayonne, and I worked with him. And, and I don't remember what year, but he had no children, I think. And I had no children until I was not two years, I guess, or three years mm -hmm. before I had it. And he worked for the Texas Oil Company checking the ships that, you know, come in with the oil. His, his, uh, his father, there, my mm -hmm. uncle worked there, and he got on the job. And then we bought, we bought a house, and my son became a teacher. And he died, and now my daughter was a nurse. She's gone, too. So. And how did you initially meet your husband? Uh, my mother knew his mother from August, from Poland. Oh, wow. From Poland, and she came, she was in Jersey. My mother didn't know where she was or nothing about her mm -hmm. until she visited a person in Southampton. And wow. there she went, and she saw the Stella was there. And she went, and the Stella didn't know my mother after they left from they left Poland. And she met her then, and then we got friendly, then her son didn't have a job. He, when he went to school, then he went to CC camp, and then some other school, there was nothing that he could do, so he came out here, and he would, he went to have, he worked in King Collins and mm -hmm. So your mother is originally from Poland. Oh, I would imagine she came she from came through from Ellis Poland. Island. What? She came through Ellis Island in New York and yeah, found yeah, her way to New yeah. Jersey. What about your father? He was from Poland too. My mother knew him in Poland. She says, I'll never marry that man, but my mother <laughs> had nobody here. And they pushed her into him. My father was an epileptic and she never mm -hmm. he was a sickly man all his life. So my other answer to him. Jesse, don't be stupid and leave him in New York. I live with him. My mother said, I married him. I'll take care of him. So she took care of him. And it was us kids, me, my brother, and my sister. When they first met that friend in Southampton oh, that, oh, that you said about, how did they kind of see themselves oh, they, in they, West they, Hampton? They got friendly with her. They were very friendly. Then my mother found out she, you know, she had two boys and a girl. Mm -hmm. And she said that he had no job. He got her. He was in, in that CC camp. And, and the job, so my mother found out that King Collins needed some client, needed somebody, so he came out here and had a job. He stayed here. I did. I was there. I was at 16. I had to quit school because I had to feed the family. I went from ten dollars a week. My mother used to come get the ten dollars from me. I worked in Cinema Riches, and he lived in my mother's house, and I was working living in Cinema Riches with this little old lady. I was there to take care of her. She's like conditioning me, I used to take her for a ride and stuff like that. Said, what was it like when you were little? So you lived on yeah. Old Riverhead Road across from Whitney's where yeah. the, um, oh, the community is now well, that they just to, built. Well, I was little. We used to play outside under the, get a street light. And I had a bunch of friends used to come up and play at night when it was mm -hmm. dark. But we were around the road. And when it snowed, we going to school. I had Mr. Planberg used to come with a horse and sled and drive us to school mm -hmm. and pick us up. And we weren't afraid to walk the streets. And, and Halloween time came, they, the boys got together, they took out mm -hmm. cornstalks and things on the streets. And, and I didn't go to the movies very much because I didn't have that nickel to, mm -hmm. nickel to go to the movies. And that, that's it. They all went to Eckhart's and to the other little store, the candy stores. And, so we talked a lot about the movie theater and where the old school used to be on School Street by the police station now, yeah. and you worked at the country club for a while. Yeah. Um, the landscape of West Hampton Beach has obviously changed, and you've seen oh, that progressive changed. growth. Oh, but everything's changing. 
I've, I've lived here all my life as well, and even living here for almost 19 years, I've seen places on Main Street come and go and things being and built stores up. stores have changed, and stores are changing the, where the post office is. Mm -hmm. There's a restaurant there now, and, 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 uh, and the drugstore in the corner next to the theater, that's gone. Yeah. Speed's had, speed had that drugstore, mm -hmm. and it's gone. And there's uh, robots, had, and Mr. Robot had a clothing store, I think across from Speed's. And there was a woman, and the woman that had fancy scarves and all things like that. Mm -hmm. or pat, or the patio where Mother used to mm -hmm. go through the store for her once in a while. Do you think West Hampton is missing anything at the state that I we are now? No, I think it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's changed everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. I think it's just those bar, old stores, like across the street, they have. Where the candy stores and everything. Mm -hmm. There's a big butcher shop on the corner now. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of that, so I can't remember those names. The big butcher store. Henry, 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 Lat, I think, had a, 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 clothing, a clothing store. Okay. Where the bakery is, that used mm -hmm. to be Gloria Sigley's. Gloria Sigley, mm -hmm. she had that. So, one last final question for you. Do you have a favorite place in West Hampton Beach that means something to you or you enjoy going to? Well, the beach is the best one. The beach, the ocean, the go swimming. So I love that, but we didn't get a chance to go very much. Eckhart's, Eckhart's ice cream hall, I'm used to at the Mika. So I'm actually attending college now, and a lot of my friends and I have been moving away from West Hampton, something similar to what you did when you were so young and taking that leap of faith. Do you have any advice to those who are moving away from this community and starting to branch out and explore other opportunities? Well, it's very hard. It's very hard. You see it. The town and people, some people, you know, will take you in and they'll say, what the hell did you come here for? And, you know, it's tough. It's, it's, and you got to be careful who you associate with today. Today's, it's terrible. So before yes. we end, do you have any final parting words for life advice or any words that you have to say? Um, we have a lot of students that will be watching this interview and watching how West Hampton Beach has progressed Let's as a community. be honest, honest and respect everyone and do not criticize people because it's none of your business. It's their life and have a happy life. Don't bother no, don't bother and watch a language, don't be, that's what I think I always tell the kids, don't be arguing, don't be saying different things up out of people. And mind your own business. Mm -hmm. They gotta be mm -hmm. kind to everybody, no matter who they're black or white. Mm -hmm. Be kind of because you have a lot of black children that were very handicapped children, you used to help them. It's just, they're just like you, but they got a different color. Mm -hmm. So be honest, that's the main thing. Mind your own business, don't need to feel like other um, was good. I know. I, I, you were great. You had some very insightful answers, and I think it means a lot to especially people my age seeing you yeah, go through you so much. And and just watch who you go with and watch your glass. <laughs> Do not leave your empty gla your glass, whatever you're drinking on the table, because when you come back, you don't know who the hell put something in. That's 